Today's video, I want to talk to you guys about whether color matters in bass fishing or not. And this is an interesting video because it's going to be a little bit of an opinion as well as a little bit of science and what I've learned about studying bass over my many, many decades of bass fishing up to this point. And you know, what's really interesting about this whole entire topic is there's a lot of opinions about it out there. Um, but there's also a lot of science that's been done that show bass are incredible little creatures with incredible little eyes that can do fascinating things. And so in today's video, I just want to talk about that. I want to talk about things that I've learned from the science of studying bass myself and just years of reading papers and research papers and talking to people a lot smarter than me. And then also what I've learned on the water about bass fishing and what has put more fish into the boat for me and what has not when it comes to colors for bass lures so the first thing that we've got to realize is that bass don't see the world like we do they actually live in a completely different medium than we do and that's kind of a big duh statement but a lot of people forget that sometimes we as humans living in the atmosphere and living in air we can perceive so many different colors than a bass can perceive just from the simple fact that we live in air and a lot of the color spectrum that penetrates the atmosphere is being shown to us. I mean, we can distinguish between like one shade of orange and another shade of orange, one shade of blue, another shade of blue. I mean, just sitting on my boat right here and you see me looking around, I mean, my Skeeter seats are completely different color blue than this blue sticker over here on my kayak, but they're both blue, but I can tell that there's a difference. Whereas a bass living in water, that water doesn't allow light to penetrate the same way. And the thing about water is water clarity, water depth, all of those different things are going to affect how much light is penetrating certain bodies of water and how bass are actually going to perceive those colors. And so to make blanket statements like bass don't see red, it's not exactly true. Bass can actually see reds and oranges really well in clear shallow water, but they can't see it in dirty shallow water. It also, when you get it super deep in the water, turns to like a brown or even a gray. But again, in shallow water, it's bright orange. And so the thing about it is, is to say bass don't see certain colors on the spectrum just isn't a total truth. It's kind of a half truth. There's so many different factors that play into whether a bass actually sees that color or not, including water clarity and water depth. And those are probably the two most important things to consider when you're thinking about color choices that you make. That's why you don't see a lot of like bright orange and bright red deep diving crankbaits. A lot of the times you're gonna see things like chartreuse and blue, um, chartreuse and green. You're gonna see a lot of whites and things like that because at the end of the day, all you want that bait to do is contrast the water really well and then you want it to contrast itself really well. I actually did a video about this just a few weeks ago where I talk about the most important thing in lure selection is contrast. You know, when you think about a bait itself, like the lure that you pick up, I'm gonna just pick this spinner bait up here. This thing contrasts really, really well. You've got some chartreuse on top, you've got some white in the middle, and you've got some blue on the bottom. Those are three very distinct colors that are going to give this bait really good contrast and allow bass to pinpoint in on it and to eat it. And so those are the things that we're trying to do with lures is not only are we trying to contrast the environment around it, we're also trying to make the lure contrast itself because those contrasts are what actually get the bass's attention. And so like when we think about throwing like a bright orange crankbait or a bright red crankbait up shallow in the spring, you know, that's like a springtime color. I mean, essentially what we're doing is we're throwing something that is going to contrast the environment around it really, really well and give a bass a chance to be able to see it and to attack it because just like us, a bass has both rods and cones and those different things in your eyes, I forgot which one does which exactly, but one allows you to see shapes and you know, like outlines of things, silhouettes of things, things that contrast things really well. Like my motor sitting on this back wall right here, it's a dark blue, does a really good job of contrasting the white wall behind it. And I can see that. And then the other one, I see the rod or cone, I'm not really sure, helps me to actually perceive the color that that thing is. And so a bass has both of those things. So not only can they do a really good job of seeing contrast and seeing silhouettes, they actually do a better job at that, but then they can also perceive the color of an object depending on, again, how shallow or how deep it is, how clear the water is, and all of those things are the things that actually play into whether a bass decides to eat something 
or not. And so for me, color really does matter. I mean, I have seen so many scenarios. I've caught thousands upon thousands of fish on a blaze money badger in the winter. But for the most part in the winter, I'm dealing with water that's really, really cold. It's really, really clear. And that orange does a really, really good job of contrasting the water around it. And then blaze being a color that's a blaze body with a really hard black back and black lines on the side does a really good job of contrasting itself. And so I think it's the perfect scenario and it's the perfect puzzle pieces that all fit together that equal me catching bass in the winter but I pick up different lures in the summertime, pick up different lures in the fall and different lures in the spring as that water clarity changes and those water uh, and those bass change the depth of water that they live in. So consider all of those things when you're choosing colors for bass fishing. And if you want to see some action of a bait that is a crazy color, check this video that's popping up right here.